Chapter 6, The Bible Cannot Forgive You People say the Bible is the Word of God, which is not true, the Old Covenant was the Word of God when it was in effect. Jesus is the Word of God now under the New Covenant and He speaks to us by the Holy Spirit which is God's Spirit. God has a mouth and speaks to us by His Son Jesus Christ. His sheep know His voice. A voice available to all. Our Holy Father lives in His children and talks to us and walks with us, we are His temple. Understanding the Kingdom of God is very important. The Jews had holy scriptures that were kept in the Ark of the Covenant in the Temple in Jerusalem which contained the tablets of stone written on by the finger of God. In spite of this, King David had to make a sacrifice every year as an offering for his sin. The holy scriptures could not permanently forgive sins. David said, My Lord will not leave my soul in hell. So, the holy scriptures could not raise the dead. The scriptures were a schoolmaster, laws to control the flesh until the seed of Christ would come when the nature in our soul would be changed from sinful to godly. You cannot be saved by claiming scriptures, you will not be resurrected unto eternal life by claiming and keeping scriptures. Saul slash Paul was perfect under the law, yet he counted it as dung so he could obtain life in Christ. Under the law in his self-righteousness, Paul persecuted the people of Christ. The Gospel is not written with ink, the Bible, nor on tablets of stone, the Ten Commandments, but on our hearts by the Spirit of the Living God. All Scripture is slash was given by inspiration of God and is slash was profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction and for instruction. The words in italics in the King James Bible are words that were added by translators. It was mistranslated this way in the Geneva Bible as well. So, when you replace the word is with the word was, you get a more accurate meaning of what Paul was telling Timothy. It was given by inspiration of God and it was profitable for doctrine, reproof, correction and instruction. And he was talking about the old covenant which no one could keep because of the weakness of the flesh. There was no New Testament Bible when Paul wrote this to Timothy. He was telling Timothy to read to learn how God brought forth the Christ and there is nothing wrong with knowing the history of God's people, in fact it is good to know it if you esteem it correctly. If the Bible was profitable for doctrine, reproof, correction and instruction today then there would not be so much disagreement and strife about what it actually means and so many different interpretations of it. There was nothing wrong with the law, but we cannot keep it, so it condemns us, it brings us under the curse of the law. Christ hath redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us, for as many as are of the works of the law are under a curse, for it is written, Cursed is everyone who does not abide by all things written in the book of the law, to perform them. If there had been a written law slash book slash Bible that we could be saved by, then Jesus would not have had to die and we could be saved by our own self-righteousness by keeping the written laws or commandments. It is evident from all the sin in the churches today that no one can keep the written laws in the Bible, if they could this would be a wonderful world full of wonderful godly people. Timothy had lived under both the Old Covenant and the New Covenant. The faith that was in your grandmother Lois and your mother is in you also Timothy. Timothy's mother was a Jew, he had lived under Holy Scriptures. But now he was under the New Covenant. Paul says to Timothy, Neglect not the gift that is in thee, which was given thee by prophecy, with the laying on of the hands. Stir up the gift of God, which is in thee by the putting on of my hands. That good thing which was committed unto thee keep by the Holy Ghost which dwelleth in us. Under the new covenant Timothy had the gift of the Holy Spirit, he was part of Jesus' kingdom. His sins were forgiven, he was part of the resurrection. Only the real living resurrected Jesus can forgive your sins and give you the same spirit that raised him from the dead. His apostles could lay hands on those that Jesus drew and they would receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. It is the spirit that quickens, not the scriptures. The Holy Spirit is the gift of God to us, not a book about him. When the woman touched the hem of Jesus' garment, Jesus said, Somebody hath touched me for I perceive that virtue is gone out of me. She had touched him by faith, God had spoken to her heart to touch him and the Spirit flowed out of him and she was healed. 
the apostles preached the gospel by the Holy Spirit. You need to understand this truth, words without the Holy Spirit are dead. Quoting scripture is dead letter. I have preached tent meetings and churches for many years. This is a mystery to most, but when a person quotes words from the Bible, by his stripes we are healed, nothing happens because it is only dead words from the past which were alive once when they were spoken by the Holy Spirit to the person they were spoken to or for. When a real Holy Spirit minister speaks by the Spirit, you can feel the anointing. When a person came to me for healing or salvation and Jesus accepted them, I could feel the Holy Spirit moving. I have seen many miracles and I know this is true. A Bible preacher has only dead words. The keys to the kingdom are given to certain people with the Holy Spirit by Jesus to lay hands on people to receive the Holy Spirit. Bible worshippers cannot do this, they are only emulators that pretend to impart the gift and the people are hypnotized by them into thinking they receive the Holy Spirit, usually speaking in some made-up gibberish that are emulated tongues while claiming to have the Spirit by the authority of the Scriptures. They are deceived by false preachers. No man can truly say that Jesus is their Lord except by the Holy Spirit, not by the Bible.